In today's world, we are increasingly dependent on technology. Our business and personal lives rely on it, but as you've probably noticed, it's unreliable. They promise it'll get better, but it usually gets worse. Our computers are slow, so we end up squinting at smartphones and tablets. We live in constant fear that something's going to happen to our personal data. So we're scared into paying for fake protection that proves useless when disaster strikes. Update attacks, fake Wi-Fi, cloud control, and other industry scandals are designed to keep the money flowing. The jokers we pay to fix our stuff have no clue what they're doing, so they do a virus scan and then wipe out our precious photos. Intelligent, successful people feel intimidated by the chaos and think it's somehow their fault. If they only knew what the industry was doing to them, they'd get torches and pitchforks. If only we had someone to explain it all in plain English so we can start protecting ourselves. Oh wait, we do! It's the Computer Exorcist Podcast with your host, Mark Anthony Arena. From the Wallace Memorial microphone in my home office, overlooking the hills of western New York, it's the Computer Exorcist Podcast. I am Mark Anthony Arena, your host. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we've got one of those bonus episodes, those fun ones. It's like when you're in in high school and the teacher says, we're going to watch a video today. And they get the VHS tape out ready and the little TV cart and say, we're going to have a fun day today. So instead of me lecturing, we're going to do another compilation of scammers who have called me recently. There is a new scam going around, tell your friends, where they say, this is your whatever, AT&T, Verizon Spectrum, whatever your cable company might be and this is AT&T and we just wanted to do a survey to see if you thought prices were too high and we're going to give out refunds and gift cards to you people of course listen of course everyone's price is too high so they're taking advantage of the high prices and they're taking advantage of the fact that people are furious with the prices okay so I'm a scammer I call you up and I say hi we're your cable company and we want to apologize for the high prices and of course they're just doing this to get you on the phone and then you give them your account number your bank account your credit card anything like that okay so if someone calls and claims they're your cable company and wants to apologize then it's fake it's like if i called you and said hi i'm the irs and i took too many taxes from you last year you should uh, give me all your bank account numbers so i can help you right does that make sense okay okay All right, everyone's smiling and nodding out there and and wherever you are. Maybe you're in your car or something on a road trip. Okay, Uh, so as usual, I try to sound like an old person because I've learned if I I use my normal voice, they're going to realize I'm a savvy young lad. So, but for some reason, I don't know why, I can't help it, but my old person voice is like a very sickly foghorn leghorn. I don't know. I don't have too many computers, boy. Uh, So I I don't know why I can't help help it but that's that um I, one of the ones you'll hopefully like is where i tell the scammer i'm ricky ricardo and of course they have no idea you know it's funny they can speak english fine but they don't know the cultural stuff and and that's the case i mean hey i speak spanish but i don't know a lot of the cultural stuff in the spanish-speaking world so that's you know but it's interesting um you know i i get a kick out of that and and uh, i call myself ricky ricardo and you and i laugh but but the scammer doesn't know Um, Yeah, you know, just remember, it's easy to tell if they're a scammer. You just ask the right questions and and you'll know. Right. And they'll say we have we found your bill. And, you know, especially if they're claiming they they're reading from your bill and you say, "Okay, great. How much did I pay last month? And then they get all evasive. Right. Well, well, you need to tell us that. So it's it's very easy to tell if someone's a scammer. Right. Uh, I've been on a lot of online dating sites. Um. 
for example, Plenty of Fish is around 90% scammers, which is really sad because they don't know how to help anyone. They implemented this ultra bloated camera verification feature, which is a good idea in theory. It, you know, it turns on your webcam and it takes a picture of who you actually are in front of your machine. The problem is it doesn't work because it's an ultra bloated program. Anyway, so the result is their ultra bloated program doesn't work and the scammers run rampant. So around 90% of the, the profiles on Plenty of Fish are scammers good news is it's very easy to spot right so a lot of them will say it'll say what are your hobbies and they'll just write hobby and i love those and it's always the same five or six pictures of very attractive ladies and but it's it's the same five ones you know it's them and it'll say interests and they'll just write interests uh, and, of course, all you have to do is send them a simple question, right? And, and you don't even have to be an expert on their city. I, I just say, like, hey, how's Jamestown today? How's Philadelphia today? And just they'll just say, okay, or how are you? And, uh, I mean, unfortunately, some of the the real people on there are that inarticulate where they just say okay uh, but but yeah most of the time you send them a coherent sentence and it's very easy to tell if they're a scammer um what was the one the other oh and, and then the ones in rochester that's an easy one i just say hey so what's your favorite garbage plate and everyone in rochester has a favorite style a favorite way of how he or she likes the garbage plate right and i've said this before i like a red hot a white hot a burger beans uh, boiled potatoes, not fried potatoes, no mac salad, but I do like the two stale pieces of bread that they give you. And what else? Hot sauce, but no onions, no mustard. And shout out to, if you like this show, you'll really love the other show I'm now a part of. Uh, speaking of garbage plates, it's called the Flyover Plates Podcast. It's my buddy's podcast, and I'm the occasional co-host, and we make fun of Rochester and garbage plates, and it's a good time. So shout out to Flyover Plates Podcast. You can find it. Um, it's on the Red Circle Network like this podcast is. Okay, so without further ado, I'm going to sit back and play all these clips of scammers I have encountered recently. Thanks so much for listening. Thanks for telling your friends about the show. And I will rant at you next week. Here goes. Dear phone services, do you remember how much you paid the last month? Uh, I can go get my bill if you want. Okay, I can hold the back for you to go grab your bill. Do you want me to grab my bill? Yes. Oh, okay, I'll go look for it now. And who would you say you were again? Verizon? Yes, sir. Yeah, yes, sir. Oh. Oh, Verizon. Okay. Just yes, uh, grab your bill. Oh, okay. That's because they, they called and they said Spectrum, so now you, you, you're Verizon? I also have an AT&T no, bill. I'm not from Verizon, sir. I'm from Spectrum. Oh. Can you help me with my AT&T Hello? bill? Hello? Hello, young man? Yes, I'm here. Young man, I said, can you help me with my AT&T bill? What? Can you help with my AT&T? I'll go look for my bill. Is that... Should I go look for my bill? Hello, young man. A TV receiver box. Yes. What happened to it? Because we have made some changes in our signal position, so we just need to update your TV receiver box. How do we do that? We heard three technicians back to office. They are working on your device. You just stay with me on the line and don't hang up the call. Okay. There's technicians working on my TV? Yeah. So for the modification, can you verify me? How many TVs do you have? Oh, um, seven. It's a big house. Okay, tell me again. I say AT&T is 
providing 40% discount to our loyal and senior customers. Sound good to you? 40% discount, huh? Yeah, because you are our loyal customer and senior citizen. Yeah. Sound good to you? Yeah, I am a senior okay. citizen. The basic purpose of calling you AT&T is receiving so many complaints of high billing. Yeah. Oh, well, customer, so that is my... Okay, um, tell me how much you paid last month for at and Yeah, what does it, what does it show on my bill? How much you paid last month for uh, at and I paid a lot last month. Tell me how much you pay and then I can give you a discount. Do you, oh wow. Um, probably... 180, does that sound right? Okay, let me check how much discount is available for you right now, okay? Wow, check how much discount. Okay. Uh, I'm doing my best to give you more and more discount, okay? Oh, more and more discount? Yeah. Wow. And I believe and I believe I'm talking with George. That's right. George, and your zip code is two five three one five. Wow. how you got that? How'd you know? And your last name is Snort. I'm right? Yeah, you had that? Okay. Wow. So you you are AT and T, huh? Yeah, and your address is 12 Mine Mock Avenue, Chester, WV25315, I'm right? Wow. You have that, wow, so you have that on file. That must be, you must be AT&T. And your date of birth is July 1st, 1941, I'm right? So um, you better give me a senior discount, huh? Okay. Yeah, I see that you are paying one hundred and ten dollars, and your monthly bill is going to be dropped down to only fifty-five dollars and twenty cents. Is sound good to you? Wow. Well, listen, I I'm a senior citizen. Can you do any better? You said you were going to do more, and more discount. Okay. Okay. Hold on. Um. First of all, you can tell me you have any cell phone connected with AT and T, like smartphone or Apple phone. Oh, smartphone or Apple phone? What? What's, yeah, you have anything? What's the difference? Like Android phone. What's the like difference? Like Android phone or Apple phone? What's the difference between a smartphone and an Apple phone? I say you have any Android phone or Apple phone connected with the AT&T like smartphone? Uh, I I don't I'm too old for I don't I don't have a smartphone. Okay, you have an email file on the AT&T? Email phone? I, I don't I don't have no, an email phone. No, no. I say email file on the AT&T in which AT&T giving you uh, messages. Email file on. Yeah, email file on the AT&T. Uh, I, I don't have? I don't do I don't do email. Uh, is it, do I have My to? My system show. Do I have to do email? You have, yeah, you have email or not? Tell me. I, I don't. Maybe I have it. I don't. I don't use email. I did. I, you know. My system shows that your email is g s m o d a yahoo a at email gateway dot net. Am I right? Um, so I don't, I don't use AT&T for email, or I do? Do I pay Yahoo? No, I say gsnod at dot gateway dot net. I'm right, at, is your email? Oh, you said Yahoo. Do I, do I look at Yahoo? Do I go to Yahoo? No. No, is your e AT&T email? <laughs> Well, I I don't use AT and T for email. I use Gateway dot net, uh, but I don't use it. I don't. I'm, but I I have. I think I have it, but I don't use email. Do okay, I, do you're you any family member have cell phone like smartphone? 
smartphone. Is that an iPhone or a smartphone? You have a smartphone or Apple phone. You tell me simply you have phone like cell phone only. Smartphone. Um, I don't. I don't have a smartphone. Do you? Do you need to send me a smartphone? Is that what you what you um, want to do? Okay. Okay. How many GB you have with AT and T? How many people do I have? It's just me. TV. 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 Oh, TV. Well, you're giving me a discount on a new smartphone. Is that right? TVs with AT and T. AT and T was yeah. was a phone company. You know they started out. People called them Ma Bell, and it was the only phone you could use. It was around the country. Did you know that? AT and T and Jack TV. There's a company which you uh, which is providing TV, internet, cell phone, or landline. Jack TV. Drek TV. Wasn't there a movie called yeah. Drek? It was about a green guy. How many TV you have in HNT? How many TVs do I have? Let's see here. Let me go. Let me look around the house. Let me think about this. How many TVs do I have? Okay. How many TVs do I have? Can you tell me on my bill how many TVs I have? Ah, uh, let me see if that would be about right. Let's see here. Two TVs. I got one in my bedroom. I got one yeah. that's always on in the living room. I got to watch the news. Do you watch the news in your living room? Okay. I got one in a spare bedroom, but I don't think it's hooked up. Do you, okay. do you, can you, you hook it up? TV. And you have internet with AT&T? I, I don't use maybe I have it I don't use it maybe the kids come over and use it I don't know I, I, okay you have any cell phone your any family member have cell phone tell uh, ask your family member and uh, tell me you have any cell phone well I'd have to call them up and do that unless you want to call them you you ask your family member he have cell phone connected with AT&T well, I know they have cell phones because all you know, you know, they all, all the young people have that now. Is, is that who you use? Okay, tell, tell me the number of cell phones you have. Number, I, I don't have any. Your, your son or daughter number of cell phone. Tell me. Do you need their numbers? Yeah, because my department sent you six digit verification code on your cell phone for your satisfaction, okay? Oh. You see, so you, you're sending me a code? Yeah, for your satisfaction. For my satisfaction, so that's how it works. Yeah. Alright, and what does that code do? There is six digit verification code on your cell phone number. Oh, so that verifies my satisfaction. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. And then, and then you can change my bill, because it's my bill yeah. is really high. I don't know what it is. I I don't know what it is. Maybe I pay okay. one hundred and eighty okay, or two hundred. I mean, my bill is really. I'm ha it's a lot of money. It's, it's a lot. I'm a single, you know, I'm an old guy, and I got I to gotta pay all this every month, and, and I don't even use the Internet. Yeah. I don't know why they get yeah. the Internet. Yeah, you pay a lot of money, so that is why I can help you, and you tell me simply your cell phone number. I can sign up the promotion on your account, and the oh. next, uh, next month of June and July from our side, and the month of August, you can... You have the discounted bill. It, oh. It's $55.20. The next two months is free from our side. $55.29? 
I, I pay a lot yeah. more than that right now. That's not that's not what I pay. I pay a lot more than that. I pay a lot more. Okay, uh, you are so many so citizens like emotional senior citizens. So that is why your monthly bill is going to be dropped. I'm an emotional so senior I'm citizen. Like you, uh, your like your age is 80 months. So that is why I can yeah. trans, I can lower your bill to. Oh, my age is a lot more than 80 months. 80 months. Yeah. A lot more than 80. Yeah. Well, yeah. so. Verify your cell phone number. And then, and then you send me a code? Yeah, and then I can sign up the promotion on your account, and you have the discounted bill like $50.20 for next period of three years, okay? For next year of three years? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's that's mighty nice of you, but I, I pay yeah, a lot you right save now. A lot of money. I pay a lot you right save a now, lot of money. young man. I pay a lot. Only simply verify my cell phone number. Well, what number did you call me on again? Is that the number on my bill? Five, five, eight, five, seven, eight, nine, one, eight, five, six is your landline number. So that is why I want to uh, confirm your cell phone number. Uh, it's my lamb line. I don't have. Yeah. I don't have lambs. I, I have a. I have a fish. But no lambs in, okay. in my house. Um, it's a lamb line. Uh, lamb. I, I like. I like lamb chops. Uh, do you you guys like lamb chops? Tell me your cell phone number. Well, it's a. Uh, I don't know. I'd have to go look. I, I don't have a smartphone. I don't have a smartphone. Okay. I mean, the, I got a phone that I'm on. I don't have a smartphone. What kind of phone you have? Oh, uh, I don't. It it just it's on my shelf and it's got a little. It's it rings and it's got the buttons and it's nice and old fashioned. You know, they used to make the phones really. They used like, to uh, make them well. Like like phone, right? It's got the buttons and it's well made. The new ones aren't that well okay. made, you know. Okay, okay, okay. And um, you know, as as this kind of promotion, there is always a small catch. In this promotion, you have small catch like What's security that? deposit. You pay one time activation fee for AT and T, oh. and then the next period of like month of June and July from our side you cannot pay any single penny in the month of June and July and in the month of August you can pay this content bill $15.20. It sounds good to you? Uh, I thought you said $55.18 so now it's $50.20? Yeah, because you are 81 year old so that is why. Uh. Well, I told you I was a lot older than 80 months old, huh? I'm 81. But... Yeah. Wow. Okay, so you you got okay. me more and more discount. Okay. The, um, it, it, there is activation fee, like you pay activate, one time activate fee of this promotion, and then you will be discounted to like $50.20. So, so do I need a verification code for that? You pay only sixty dollars for as an activation fee, okay? Oh uh, well, that's. Does that cover this month? Cause I I think I already paid this month. Do I get a refund for this month? Cause I I think the month starts on the fifteenth. No, is what I pay my a, bill on the fifteenth. Like the month of June and July is from our side in sixty dollar, and June, the month July. of August you can pay fifty dollar and twenty cents. You cannot pay any single penny in the 
month of June and July, okay? So, from May 18th to June 18th, do I pay my current bill? Um, there is a two, two way to pay activation. The one is debit card and second is credit card. Which one you choose to pay your security deposit? Debit card or debit card? I say one is credit card or second is debit card. Which one you choose to pay? Well, what about what about my verification? Do I need to give you a verification code? No, I can give you a verification code and paperwork at your home. Simply you can tell me the number, 16-digit number of your card, okay? A 60-digit number. Is that on the bottom of my cable no. box? No, your credit card, there is a two-way, like credit card or debit card. Which one you choose to pay, credit card or debit card? I usually mail you guys a check if that's okay. I don't mind mailing you a check if you give me the amount. You know, I, I prefer that because it's safer. I say only you tell me which one you choose, like debit card or credit card to pay. Devin card. I got a grandson named okay. Devin. Devin. Okay. Huh? Um, hold your, hold your debit card. Hold your debit card and tell me the n number of card. Oh. Okay. How old is my Devin? Oh, he's he's about ten. He's a good kid. Now, what what, what, did, what did we say I was paying on the bill? Was it was it one eighty I'm paying right now, or was it two twenty? It's 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 a lot. I say you hold your debit card and tell me the number of sixteen digit number of your debit card, okay? There's a sixty digit number, but I don't. Where do I find it? Oh, my Devin isn't 16 yet. He's only 10. But can you imagine in six years he's going to be 16 and I'll have to get him a car? Have to, he'll be driving. I'll be so proud. I can't wait to teach him how to drive. So do I. Oh, we lost him. That was fun. 17 minutes and 57 seconds. Yeah, I got your number here, you, somebody, somebody put their phone number on my computer, said if I had computer help, I call this number. Uh, will you please address me with your first name and your last name? Yeah. My name is Ricky. Yeah, hi, Ricky. Oh, that's, that's funny, that's my name, too. That's funny. Okay. Uh, can you please help me with your name? Yeah. Uh, Ricardo is my last name. R I C A R D O. And my first okay. name is Ricky. Can you please help me with your first name? Yeah, Ricky. Your first name is Ricky? Yeah, like Richard. Richard. Okay. Ricky Ricardo is my name. Alright, Richard. Alright, uh, yeah, Richard, please let me know my sister. Uh, there was something on my computer said I got a message on my computer said I had to call you All right, no need to worry. I will do one thing. I'm uh, assigning an engineer for you and Technician will call you up in five to ten minutes and his name will be great So he'll be assisting you for the this, okay? I, I, I thought you were technician. It says you were senior network technician. It says so okay. I'm well, you, a technician for you. Oh, you can't and help me. You're not. You're not seeing you enough. For you, his name is Ray. So you, he will contact you in like five ten minutes. You you got a network so technician. Minutes, he will contact you and whatsoever problem you have with the machine, he'll be assisting you with it. Okay. So you can't help me. You you're senior technician, but you don't know my issue. You gotta find another yeah, technician. I, I do definitely owe your issue, but I'm not in the office right now. I'm outside somewhere. So that is the reason for assigning some other engineer for you. Okay, and, and it's six... By the end of the day, the case will be coming up to me, so I'll be taking care of it, so don't you worry. And 609, you, you in New Jersey or Arizona? Yeah, in 
in New Jersey. Oh, okay, because that's Arizona area code. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So you in New Jersey? I have a sign already, Ray. So Ray will come back here in within five to ten minutes. Okay. What do you think about them Eagles yesterday? You close enough to Philly that you like them Eagles? Sorry. You like the Eagles last night? Eagles last night? Yeah. You oh, watched them. Did you watch them last night? If you if you in in uh, near New Jersey, you must be a fan of the Eagles. Uh no, I'm not a I'm not a person. Believe me, this office sucks, and the people are after do this, do that. So not a not a game person. Oh, that's that's interesting, right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, my name is so my name is Ricky Ricardo. My name is Ricky Ricardo. You tell your your technician to ask for me. Yeah, the technician, like one of my representatives, the team from the engineer will be contacting you. All right, he's going to fix my computer problem. I can't get on my computer. I was trying to get on my computer this morning. I can read you all the messages, it says. Uh, whatever concern you have, we'll be taking care of it. It's, it's, so there's a lot of messages on my computer. You want me to read them to you? Not record as a pal. All right. Well, I, I, yeah. Engineer will be taking care of it. All right. I hope y'all can take care of me, cause uh, yeah, I called Amazon and one time. I thought it was Amazon, but it wasn't. Care of you. All right. I mean, uh, hopefully, cause you guys are Microsoft, right? All right. All right. Okay. Bye. All right. Yeah, hello, who's this? Hi, I'm the technician. I'm calling you back. May I have your first and last name? Hi, technician. This is Richard Ricardo. You can call me Ricky. Ricky. Okay, Ricky. How can I help you? I got a message on my computer. It says, uh, Microsoft. Are you Microsoft? Go ahead. Oh, wow, okay, yeah. Message you uh, what what'd you say? I, I can't hear you. I'm asking you, that what, do you what is the message that you got? It says something about viruses. You, your viruses? You, you fix viruses? It says I have messages. Do not turn my computer off. And do not restart my computer off. Do not... Do not turn my computer off, and it has your phone number, and it says senior technician. I talked to a guy; he was a senior technician, but he said he couldn't, he couldn't help me. So maybe you, you're a better technician than him. How do you get our number? Uh, it came message came up on my computer. That's where the, my number was there. Yeah, it's a message. Okay. That doesn't. The guy said he was a senior technician. He said he was going to help me with my computer. No, sir. No, sir. If it, this is something different, I have. I only take care of things with the website problem. Like if you if you have a website and your website is not working properly, I help you with that. This is something I'm not aware of. What it is. And where was there was a technician said senior technician he was going to fix my computer did you used to be a technician senior technician is his designation he did not understand the problem what you have this is something different we don't deal with such things I told him I had a problem with my computer yeah 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 we don't I'm not the right person I'm sorry I'm not the right person where are you going to find you going to find someone to fix my computer yeah, I'm not sure. I, I don't I don't have what you are saying. It's something that you we don't deal with. So no. So you used to up until a few months ago, right? Because you you were ripping people off, and and stealing money from them, telling them that you were fixing their computers. Is that right? Well, we got a trace on this guy anyway, so that's all we needed. All right, guys, let's get him. Okay, go ahead. Okay, so this call is in regards to your student loan forgiveness. You have some student loans on your name, right? 
Yeah, I got student loans. Sir, I just want to give you an update that now you may qualify for up to 80% of forgiveness on your student loans directly from the U.S. Department of Education. Wow, so you're from, this- you're from the U.S. Department of Education? No, sir. We are the documentation processing team. Our work is to process your application to the Department of Education directly. The program which we are talking about is given by the Department of Education. It's a federal backed up program. Okay. So I would apply indirectly because I'm applying for a loan through you, so it's not me direct to the U.S. Department of Education, right? We are going to process your file. So it means you are going to get uh, directly uh, enrolled in a government forgiveness program. We are just here to help you to enroll in this forgiveness program. So if I go through you, it's an indirect way to the uh-huh. government, right? Correct. Okay, so it's you should say you help me apply indirectly to the government because I wouldn't be applying directly myself, right? See, the main reason is if you want to see, there are millions of people who are going to apply for the student loan forgiveness, right? If you're going to apply by yourself, there are very high chances of rejection of the file. That's so if I apply the- myself, that would be direct. So I would apply directly to the government myself, you right? Sure, everyone can apply. It. That's not an issue. You can apply it by yourself as well. So but if I apply with you, that's indirect, right? But we take the guarantee that we are going to enroll you in this forgiveness program. There is no chance of rejection of the file. Really? But if you're going to apply yourself, yes, sir. That's how you're in the picture. Really. Uh, so you said. So when you when you tell people that we're applying, you say you help me d- apply indirectly. Because we in- are just going to provide documentation. It doesn't mean that we are going to provide you the, the enroll you in this forgiveness program indirectly. You are going to directly deal with the Department of Education. We are just here to help you to enroll you in this government forgiveness program. So when you tell okay, people this. Uh-huh. When you tell people this, you should say you're helping indirectly, because I'm not talking directly to the Department of Education, correct? Correct, yeah, exactly. Okay. So you're not talking to the Department of Education directly, but after enrolling in this program, you're going to deal with the Department of Education oh. directly. We are just providing you the documentations which you have to, which is going to help you to enroll you in this forgiveness program. After that, we are going to process your application to the Department of Education directly. So After if you, this program, you're going to this. Uh-huh. if you help me, you're helping me indirectly. So you should tell people that when you call them that you're helping them indirectly. You're asking me this question the fifth time. If you're not interested, that's not an issue. You can simply hang up the call. Oh, I need if help with my student loans. I need help with my student loans, and I didn't know where to go, so I'm glad you called. I'm just giving you a technicality. See, we are the third party, I understand. We are from enrolling you in this forgiveness program indirectly, but we are just providing you the doc- proper documentation for the enrollment in this program, and we are going to process your application to the U.S. Department of Education directly. After enrolling in this forgiveness program, sir, you're going to deal with the Department of Education directly. Ah, uh, well, you said you were going to process it directly, so you 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 should say we're going to apply indirectly for you. We are the third person, right? So I'm going to process your application yeah. of your name directly to the U.S. Department of Education. So okay, you're the I'm third really party. Different. So if I use a third party, okay. that's not me directly, correct? Our work is to enroll you in this forgiveness program only. After right. enrolling in this program, we are going to deal with the Department of Education directly, right? We are just enrolling you in this forgiveness program. It doesn't mean you are going to uh, indirectly you are going to get enrolled in this forgiveness program. Right. Okay. You said indirectly, so you're yeah. That now you're getting it. Um, so when you help me, you're helping me so that I apply indirectly. <laughs> So until I'm done talking to you, I'm not direct with them. Oh, we lost him.